Hello, Daniel and Laura. This book is called The Only Lonely Panda by Jenny Lambert. Deep in the dewy forest, where flamingos danced and butterflies fluttered, Panda sat alone. I wish I had a friend, he sighed. Then Panda saw her. Wow, we look. Maybe she will be my friend. But Panda didn't know how to make friends. I wonder what the other animals do, he thought. Graceful flamingos made friends by dancing together. That's it, Panda exclaimed. I will dance like a fluffy flamingo. Then the panda will be my friend. How could anything possibly go wrong? Oof! Panda picked himself up and watched playful Sifakas make friends by bouncing and pogoing together. Brilliant! Panda cried. I will bounce instead like a springy Sifaka. Then... The panda will definitely be my friend. Whoopee! Watch me fly! Whee-hee! Oof! Down on the ground, panda spotted two blue-footed boobies. Aha! he said. I will stomp and strut like a booby. Then we will be friends. Now, where did she go? But panda had looked very far before he spotted a handsome peacock. Feathers! Panda whooped. If I had a dazzling tail, she'd surely be my friend. All I need is one or two. Yikes! Sorry! Phew! Panda puffed. Who needs fancy feathers anyway? Panda picked up some bamboo and waggled his bottom. This tail waggle will surely succeed. Here we go. Poop. Panda sighed. She will never, ever be my friend. And he plodded off to get his dinner. Deep in the dewy forest, where Sifakas bounced and peacocks pranced, Panda sat eating alone. But not for long. Oh, hello, said the other panda. That looks tasty. It's scrummy, nodded panda. And then he had his best idea yet. Would you like to share? And so they did. Among the lush leaves, two pandas ate and played together and became the best of friends.